to start with, uh, if we're going to be doing some math, we probably are going to be working with some numbers. That's not always the case, but uh, most often it is the case. So uh, there's lots of different kinds of numbers. There's real numbers. There's imaginary numbers. Um, one thing that's a relief to most people when they find out we're not working with these, uh, we're not working with these. We're not going to work with imaginary numbers right now. Later we will. So we're working in real numbers. Um, you're familiar with real numbers. We're just going to break them out into different kinds of real numbers. We're also not, in this uh, first section, going to be worrying about irrational numbers. Uh, so we're going to be dealing with these guys here, rational numbers. Um, as a part of the rational numbers, we have integers. And as a part of the integers, we have the whole number. So let's explain all of these. So the whole numbers would be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, forever and ever and ever. Um, so these are 0 and then all the positive like counting numbers, where you have 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or whatever of some of something. So you could think of them as natural whole numbers. Counting numbers is also uh, another way to think of them. Um, and it's as simple as that. Those are the natural or the whole numbers. Um, so those are also, see this box is inside the integer box. So these are integers as well. Um, some numbers that are integers, but they're not whole numbers, so they're outside of the whole numbers, would be, you know, negative 1 and negative 2 and negative 3 and, and go on. So we've got uh, the positive numbers and 0, they're integers. Right? Also, integers, but not natural or whole numbers, are the negative numbers. Okay. And then we have the rational numbers. The rational numbers are uh, are not integers because they're not uh, whole numbers. Um, they are parts of numbers sometimes. Um, so let's go with like a one third or uh, three fifths or one half or, or whatever. Any number that can be written like this. One number over another number. One integer divided by another integer, that makes it a rational number. Um, and that number, or that name comes from ratio. A ratio would be like a fraction. One number versus another number. We're just like comparing them. We have three out of the five parts that would make one. Right. Um, so that a rational number is any number that can be written as one integer divided by another integer. Um, and sometimes decimal numbers uh, can uh, be called rational even though they're not um, written as a fraction like this guy point three 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 we'll put a line over that three to mean that it's repeating forever forever and ever and ever um, this point three three forever is the same as one third this even though we write it as a decimal it is a rational number because it can be written as one over three and of course we have point five and this would be point six right there be point six. So there's decimal representations of rational numbers. Now these, uh, all of these numbers inside this blue box, even these and these are rational numbers. Um, these are rational, and these are rational, and these are rational. Right? But uh, but these ones here, they're not integers. Right? Integers need to be uh, entire numbers, complete numbers, not parts of numbers, not decimals, and not fractions. Okay. So uh, if we uh, get more specific than just the, the negative and also 0 and the positive ones. If we just think about 0 and the positive ones, now we have this little subset called the, uh, the natural or the whole numbers. And just real quick, just for examples, uh, an example of an irrational number would be pi. That's one that uh, goes on forever and ever. It's like a decimal that goes on forever and ever. And it can't be written as a rational number. Uh, it, it's a decimal that goes on forever, and it never repeats itself. It doesn't have any distinguishable pattern um, that arises. So uh, pi would be an example, and there's other numbers like that. But that'd be an example of an irrational number. And then imaginary numbers. Uh, the imaginary number is i, and that is the square root of negative 1, just a, a glimpse of your future. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to be worrying right now about these guys right here. Um, and another topic that comes up in this section that I'll cover really quickly uh, would be if-then statements. If-then statements. 
So one uh, if then statement would be like if it rains the street will get wet. Right? So if it rains, okay, it rains. What's going to happen when it rains? Water's going to fall on the ground and the street uh, among many other things will get wet. Um, now that's really basic. That's all that really one should understand. But here's something. Um, the converse of this statement. The converse is just basically this happens uh, in reverse. So this guy comes up into the if and this uh, goes over to the uh, then. I guess I should have written the word then in there somewhere. Then. If it rains, then the street will get wet. Um, so if the street is wet, then it rained. Okay. Now is that true? Um, and the answer is not necessarily. It doesn't have to rain in order for the street to get wet. Um, so this is something that we would uh, sometimes say uh, if we're talking about if-then statements, we'd say the converse isn't necessarily true. Um, so if this is true, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is true. It could be that the street is wet because it rained, but it doesn't have to rain to get the street wet. You can spit on the street, or you can take your sprinkler out to the street and sprinkler the street. Um, so the converse isn't always true. Um, then you have something called the inverse and the contrapositive, but this is the, the main thing. Uh, the assumption often is that it works the other way, and it doesn't always, um, though sometimes it does. Sometimes they both imply each other. Um, but that's it for uh, the introduction. We'll do uh, a few sample problems of uh, what's a rational number, what's a, um, what's a whole number, and those kinds of things. So thanks for watching.